us were an important part of the ecosystem and the food chain, so we wanted to kind of bring them back to the area where they naturally would exist. So we started to hack birds, or the process of hacking where we take birds from the northern area where ospreys still were, and we bring them down to southern Michigan. We raise them in a structure and allow them to release naturally from that area and hopefully repopulate the area. Um, luckily, this has kind of come full circle where we've been very successful with the osprey program. There are super indicators of clean water environment. During uh, the 60s and 70s, there was a, a real problem with toxic uh, chemicals in our water supply, and we lost nine out of 10 nests. We're here at the Point Way State Game Area. It's uh, managed and funded through uh, hunting licenses and through the Pittman Robertson Fund. It allows us to provide habitat for the osprey here, like we've been doing, uh, wetlands and upland areas for hunting and fishing. It's a very diverse area that provides a lot of opportunity for people. Once the reintroduction program ended and when we decided that we were going to go forward with the tracking, we weren't just going to be handling birds in southeast Michigan, we were expanding what we were doing with the population throughout the southern half of the Lower Peninsula. We've done reintroduction, we've brought osprey back to southern Michigan, um, we've followed their movements as they migrate south by putting telemetry backpacks on them. Um, and now we're on to the next movement of the project where we want to kind of turn this over to citizen science to help us monitor the nests as now there's getting to be so many nests, it's very difficult for us as the DNR to monitor them. And some, some cases humans have had negative impacts, sometimes positive impacts, it just depends on the situation. Um, but here's a way we can kind of monitor birds right in our backyard. Osprey are very tolerant of human activity and um, we'll nest quite close to people. As you can see, we're pretty close to a nest right now and an occasional warning cry, but for the most part, they're not too concerned we're here. So um, people can get involved in nature and connected with the outdoors, which in this day and age, I think that's important.